Why? So Assassin's Creed is another film based off of a popular video game. In this one, Michael Fassbender is presumed dead to the rest of the world and he wakes up in what appears to be a psych ward and Marion Cotillard and Jeremy Irons are gonna do their evil things to try to make him learn more about his ancestor. Oh my gosh, I'm boring myself to death just talking about this. Let's get into the positives because there is barely any. Michael Fassbender is an actor who has proved time and time again that he is great. He was good in this film. Number two, the action scenes. When they would go back to 15th century Spain, they were very exciting and very well done. But everything to do with the present day is just horrendous. The pacing was abysmal. Every other actor in the film besides Michael Fassbender is at their lowest low. And let me say, it just broke my heart to see Jeremy Irons and Marion Cotillard so wooden. Honestly, it was like watching about 25 copies of Hayden Christensen from Attack of the Clones. I can't mention the pacing enough. I was bored, I yawned through most of the movie, and I didn't really care what was going on. And in all honesty, I feel like there are two parts of this movie that were completely stolen off of other movies. And I'm pretty sure the boardroom went like this. Well, sir, we have Michael Fassbender, Marion Cotillard, and Jeremy Irons, but what are we going to do about the film? It's kind of terrible. Oh, don't you worry about it. I got this whole situation figured out. So to make it more relatable, we'll have Cal be a young man who is very reckless. And because of certain situations, this kid will have to run away from home. And as he gets older, he'll want to know more about what his father was about. Sir, that sounds an awful lot like J.J. Abrams' Star Trek. Oh, wait, and I'm not done. We'll make the Animus a machine that connects to Cal through his brainstem, and I know a lot of people are gonna be like, wait, that sounds an awful lot like Spider-Man 2. Well, it won't be, because Cal will be seeing visions of his former ancestor. I'm gonna go have fun with your failure. He doesn't know what he's talking about. This is gonna be great. Well, congratulations, studio, for being completely wrong and for ripping off two really great films. Oh, and not only do we get to see this plot and script be just laughable, not only do we get to see scenes that look like a video game, we also get a lot of shaky cam. Do you know that Michael Bay Transformer shaky cam that happens so much that you have no idea what's going on? Yeah, it happens a few times in this film and it almost made me want to throw up. I can't talk about this anymore. All the actors except for Fassbender were laughably wooden. The pacing almost made me fall asleep a couple of times. And the script feels like it was written by a five-year-old. Sure, there were a couple of cool action scenes. So what? If that's all you need in entertainment, go for it. Have a blast. But I cannot see myself seeing this movie ever again. And I don't believe you should either. And I may seem a little angry. But it was still a lot of fun to make this video. But as always, it's not what I say, but what you say that matters. So, what'd you think of Rogue One? Leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts. I'd love to hear it. And if you like what I had to say and you want to see more, click right there and subscribe and become part of the fray of nerds who love cinema. You all have a fantastic day.